Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And today is a really special day for me because I've designated today, this Friday, as my bragging day. Yeah, because I want to brag about my clients. They have taken what we have talked about, about standing boldly in their circle, and they're writing a story that they are really proud to tell me, and living a life that they are eager to share. So I want to make this Friday National Bragging Day for them and for you. And today, I want you to take a minute, longer I hope, and I want you to pay attention to everything that you're doing that at some moment in the past you thought was impossible, that you just couldn't do. And you look around and you're thinking, huh, I'm doing it. So give yourself a little bit of time. Let it be okay for you to stand boldly and brag about yourself. If you're a little shy and you don't want to tell anybody else, then look in the mirror. Make a video of yourself. Why not? Or just very quietly when you're driving in your car, or at least before you go to bed, take just some time to notice what you're doing that is absolutely better and more than you ever, ever thought possible. Pay attention to those impossible moments. They'll layer in and they'll pave the way for more impossible things to be possible. So if I may, I hope I hope it's cool that I just brag about my clients. They're not here. And I want them to have bragging rights on this National Bragging Day Friday. So may I? One of the clients that I've talked about in a couple of other videos is now celebrating his 73rd sobriety day 73 days he has gone without any kind of alcohol whatsoever and he said the other day in session last wednesday that he was really really happy because he said for the first time since he was 17 these days have been clear and he's making better decisions and he's following through on things and he's looking for a job. His other job, the company has changed ownership and things have made different adjustments for him and he's decided that he feels good enough about himself that he would like to try something new. And he told me that this was the very first time he had ever applied for a new job, did his resume, and didn't think, I'll never get hired. They won't like that. I'm not good enough at that. I haven't done enough of that. And you know what he told me? I just laughed and with joy. Is he said, you know what? I was thinking this time, if they didn't hire me, that would be a really dumb move on their part. Cool, huh? Yeah, something to brag about. Days of sobriety clear thinking, follow through, courage,
to try something new. He'd always been afraid to leave the other company before. He'd been there for such a long time. And now he's going to do it. He's going to stand boldly in his circle and have a really great story to tell and a better life than he's ever had before. Now may I with another, and that is a young woman came to me and she said the reason that she came is she wanted to make better decisions and that she had found somebody that she really, really loved. And she said, you know, Amina, I don't want to blow it. I really want this relationship. So we set about to have that dream come true. And the way we did it is for her to stand boldly in her circle to get to know herself better and who she was, who she wanted to be able to show and be with other people. She'd been trying so hard to please people, to figure out what they wanted, to try to take care of them, to always be the first one to make the moves just because she wanted so much to be able to have somebody that was her very own. And when we practiced her just standing in her circle and being her, and she realized that being her is a pretty dang good person. And she got to be more and more herself. And that just meant that she figured out what she wanted, what was important to her. She quit trying to change, to be what everybody else said that she should be or ought to be, because you know it didn't work. She felt fake, she felt phony, and most of all, she wasn't happy. And so, standing boldly in her circle, and being herself, she texted me five minutes ago. And she showed me this little hand. And on this little hand, she had a ring. Her special guy had proposed to her last night. Cool, huh? There you go. More to brag about. She's going to be a bride, and that was really important to her. And she picked somebody that really loved her just for herself, and that she could love just for himself. They've been coming for a couple's counseling for a while, just as a couple, before they got engaged. And they're such a delight. Such a delight. They're able to tell their truth to one another and each other listens and they're still themselves and yet they're building a third part. For me, a relationship is one person and the other person and then up here is a third entity. It's the relationship and when both people feel really good about themselves and who they are and they feel wanted and accepted for who they are, then both of them have so much extra that they contribute to that relationship and it just grows and grows and grows and they did. So, she has a ring, he's happy, he designed the ring too pretty lovely. And they're moving into a new home and then they're going to be planning a wedding. All because both of them had the courage to be themselves and share that self 
with each other. You can do that. You can stand boldly in your circle and the quietness of your space. Figure out what you want. What you stand for as a person. How you want somebody else to know you and who you are and appreciate that you don't have to change. You just be more of who you are and that's enough, totally enough. I have another client and she was in a relationship, lovely couple, both of them really wonderful people and have you ever been in a relationship where you really liked the other person? Maybe you even really love them and yet, dang, just something just doesn't match. And maybe one's going this way and one's going that way and they're just really trying hard to bring it together and it's just not going to work. And that sometimes, even though all the advertisements and all the messages say if you love somebody, you can work it out, sometimes, you know, love is just not enough. And so, she figured out a very loving and caring way and we worked together on how she could say that so that she could let this person know that things just weren't fitting for her. That was very hard, very hard. She just thought she was looking at this bouquet or garden of flowers and she was just gonna rip it apart and then it would hurt, it would hurt him it would hurt her and she went back and forth part of her just couldn't figure out why she was doing it and then she would remember and then she would start thinking how lovely some of the times are and finally she realized that it was not helping either one of them to keep struggling to be something that they weren't to please the other person. It didn't work. It didn't work. So she stood very bravely and boldly in her circle and told him about what she thought. Cared for him about the sadness and knew that even though this was really hard it was the most loving, caring thing she could do for both of them. She did it. That is something to brag about, to have that courage and to care so deeply for yourself and the other person that you would be willing to tell the truth. Good job absolutely good job. I have another girl and she's 16 and she and her dad are coming in because she said she wants to get her way through this adolescence in a better way. She said this is hard. Being 16 I thought it was just, I was just going to be home free. I thought, ah, 16, I can drive, I can do this and this and this. And she said, you know, it's hard. A lot of decisions out there to make. A lot to figure out about who I want to be when other people are being something different and they want me to do things that I'm not real comfortable doing. And I... I need somebody to talk with about it. So, I'm the lucky person and she's going to come each week and we're going to talk. 
And the bragging thing about her that I discovered is that she's applying for jobs as a hostess in a restaurant. And then I asked her what really pleased her. And she told me that she loves to bake. She loves to bake pies. I don't know about you. I bake a lot. And pies are really tricky for me. And she said, ah, they're easy for me. You just do this, 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 and this. And it's a pie. And she made it sound so easy that I'm willing to give it more of a try. So not only am I bragging about my client, I'm a little bit bragging about myself because I've learned something and I thought, wow, how can I stand more boldly in my circle? Well, I mean, why don't you try another pie? So I'm going to wish me luck. And then along with this 16 year old girl who's this terrific baker comes her dad and her dad is coming because he wants to be himself in a relationship that he has and he wants to be a better dad. He said, you know, I'm going to take custody of this girl and I want to really be able to do a good job. I want to do everything the very best way I can because I love her because she's my daughter. How about that? I am so proud of my clients. And could I just tell you one more? One more is that I have this young woman, lovely, lovely thing, and she has not known what she wanted to do. We've practiced her standing boldly in her circle, and she says, well, I'm standing boldly in my circle, and I don't know what's next. So she walked in the other day, and she realized what she very, very much likes is she likes textures. She likes to feel things. And she likes to see how they look as clothing. So she has signed up for school and she's going to study textiles and fabrics and design. And that's her bold circle move. So I guess that's enough bragging for one day. Go and have your National Friday bragging day. Doesn't matter if you're getting married, you got engaged, you're going to school, whatever, getting a new job. That's not the point. That's how they're standing in their circle. Each of us has a way that we boldly stand in our circle at different times in our lives. So look around at you. Look around. Not bad, huh? Yeah. And very boldly brag about what you're doing. My gosh, I think some days you can brag about getting out of bed. You just love to lie there and ooh, just kind of daydream away. And you get out. That counts. Brush your teeth. That counts. Let me tell you, some days almost everything can feel impossible. So whatever you're doing, brag about it. Say, huh, I'm standing boldly in my circle. So I have a story that I want to tell and a life that I love so much that I want to share it. Share it. Brag about it. Live it. Be it. Okay? As usual, come on back. I'll surprise you with what the next day is. And you surprise yourself by recognizing all the wonderful things that you're doing, who you're being, and how you're sharing it. Come back. You know that I will be looking for you, especially you. You're important. And you matter. All right. Thanks for coming. Come again. Take care. Remember to brag a little about yourself 
It's way okay. Stand bold.